The only way to get to the bottom of the problem is to set Maggie on fire and watch her burn. No, I'm not Maggie. My name happens to be Joan. I'm Dorothy. I'm Mary. And my name is Betty. These girls are really secretaries, but we've asked them to help with our demonstration. Joan is going to use the torch to set this 20-pound ingot of magnesium on fire. It doesn't seem to be catching immediately. So while Joan waits, we'll proceed with some other experiments. Dorothy is not taking any chances, which is a good idea, since she's going to use a hot acetylene torch to ignite this magnesium sand casting. Notice that Dorothy can melt and burn the sharp edges of the casting, but as soon as the torch moves on, any existing fire is self-extinguished. It just won't stay lit. The reason is that magnesium is such an excellent conductor of heat that the mass of the castings withdraws the heat of combustion, dropping the metal below the temperature of ignition. Let me use that bigger torch for a minute, will you? Sure. Here. Meanwhile, Joan has increased the intensity of the heat source. And she'll give her ingot another chance. See you later, Joan. Mary is all set to ignite this one-eighth inch sheet of magnesium. And she's using a face shield to protect herself against any possible spattering. This propane torch doesn't have enough heat to ignite the metal. Even aimed at the corner, the heat is quickly distributed through the rest of the sheet and dissipated before ignition can begin. I'm not getting anywhere. So, let's increase the heat source. This acetylene torch burns a hole right through the 1 8 inch thick sheet of magnesium. Notice, however, that as soon as the torch is removed, the fire goes out. It is self-extinguishing principally because magnesium has such high heat conductivity. However, we can alter this situation by preheating the entire sheet of magnesium first. We use a larger acetylene torch for this job. Now, when we start the sheet burning in one spot, there is no cool place to which the heat can be dissipated. The metal is saturated with heat. And the fire we start now becomes self-sustaining and will continue burning the magnesium. Betty has a thinner magnesium sheet, only 20 thousandths of an inch thick. She figures she can ignite it with an ordinary propane torch. Try the corner, Betty. Confining the heat to the small area of the corner allows Betty to heat the metal to its melting point so that it can be ignited. Well, it's finally burning, but it doesn't make much of a fire, does it? But again, we have another case of a self-limiting blaze due to the rapid conduction of heat away from the area being burned. And how is Joan getting along these days? I give up. It just won't burn. Sensible girl, Joan. A magnesium ingot of this size will absorb, distribute, and dissipate all the heat that this torch can deliver all day long. <laughs>